All right, welcome to another painting tutorial. This we're gonna look at the Lizardman Saurus. So this is an old model that I've had around for a while. Uh, it's from a, an older uh, starter set that GW put a while ago. And so I'm gonna start off with some Stegodon uh, green there for the, the base coat. And we're just gonna show you some quick layering. This is gonna be kind of your rank and file paint scheme and uh, just the general colors for a Lizardman army. At the end, I'm gonna show you the paints that I use, which are basically the same as the GW ones. So I'm just doing the next layer here in SOTEC green. And I'll also uh, type those out into the description in the video. Uh, you can also check out my blog and I'll have some of the still images there. So just painting SOTEC green over top of some of the, uh, the raised areas, trying to avoid any of the, the deep shadows. I'm going to be doing a wash at the very end stage of the skin here. And so that will, um, that will help blend some of these colors. So... Sotek green going on there, just overbrushing kind of a thing. Uh, now Temple Guard blue, I'm going to try to paint this on some of the edge highlights here. And this is just a nice bright, uh, bright sort of a aquamarine green blue. And uh, yeah, just trying to get this on some of the raised edges and uh, the edges of the carapace there. So as you can see, I'm just doing this really quick. Uh, this video is at four times speed, but uh, this, the idea here is that this is something you could do for a whole regiment. Uh, there would, with the, uh, that green shade, what is that? That's the, um, Corellia, Corella green shade. Um, it's kind of a, again, a, a blue-green sort of a, a shade here. You could do this earlier if you're going to do, uh, your, your layers a bit more, uh, tidy, but I didn't. Uh, so now I'm putting Rhinox Hide on any of the bits that are, uh, going to be brownish or gold. And um, just as a quick base coat, just to make things simple. And doing on his teeth there, that gold armband on him, and uh, his weapon up top there, which I guess will be out of frame for some of us. So uh, Yushabti Bone on those uh, pointy bits on that claw, and on the club on his belt. I don't know if that's supposed to be or not. Just doing some of his teeth, kind of uh, overbrushing him, and the horn on his uh, nose. And I do his um, his toenails off uh, off camera. Uh, Gorther Brown, or sorry, Gor yeah, Gorther Brown for the uh, sh highlights for all those uh, wooden bits and leather bits. Again, just as a unit filler, this guy is just a basic, basic color. Uh, again, a gold for that uh, gold bit there, and just painting it straight on. And I'm going to be doing um, some shading. Just some yellow in the eyes, and Agrax Earthshade for all that uh, brown and gold stuff that I just did. And that'll just help blend it a little bit, tone down some of the uh, sh con sharp contrasts, and uh, just to make this kind of a unit level guy. And so here's the paints uh, that uh, GW suggests, and I use basically the same ones for the skin, and uh, gold and whatever. So depending on how much detail you're putting on your guys, all these paints can be used. As you can see, this can be painted up pretty quick in just your basic colors. Um, so this is a tabletop sort of level for your rank and file guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out my blog and other videos and subscribe if you like this. And I'll see you next time.